Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerky, and welcome to the fitness center shell build, speed build thing. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> so basically, when the new fitness stuff pack came out, I wanted to build my gym, my fitness center ahead of time so that when the pack came out, I could just go ahead and furnish it real quick and then post a video the same day because I like being able to do that. And I did not get a free early release copy from EA this time around like I did with the Parenthood pack. Wah, wah. No, I'm fine with it. Like I was excited about this pack, but not super excited. So uh, I didn't mind. I didn't mind getting it the same day as everyone else, but fingers crossed maybe EA will be nice enough to give me the next pack, whatever that is. Uh, I'm just hoping. I'm just wishing out loud. But anyways, <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's, that's kind of why I have two separate videos. This may look familiar if you are already subscribed and if you are new, welcome. Please consider subscribing if you want daily Sims videos. I literally post to seven days a week, plus I do at least one live stream. And then some days, like I think when the fitness pack came out, I actually did two videos that day. I don't know. So you're going to get at least seven videos, at least eight videos a week, let's just say, maybe more. <laughs> so definitely subscribe and check that out. But yeah, yeah. So what I was getting at is it's two separate videos because when that video uh, was released, I think, what did I do? Okay, so this is what I did. I built this shell, like I said, in anticipation, waiting for the pack to come out. And then when the pack came out, I furnished it sort of live. It wasn't like a live stream, but I furnished it in real time and combined that with my objects build by review thing. Yeah, I know. I did it weird and backwards. Just I'm to just ignore me, okay? I do weird things. But <laughs> welcome to my channel. I do weird things. <laughs> That's a great intro, but it's true. And if you're weird like me, then you'll be right at home. So anyways, um, yeah, that video, I'll link it in the description below so you can see what came of the shell if you haven't already. And if you have watched it already and you still want to watch this, thank you. That's really cool. Uh, the reason I decided to upload it as a separate video instead of not at all is because I'm really proud of it. I'm really, really proud of it. And I sort of had this vision of what I wanted it to look like as soon as I saw the trailer for the stuff pack because I noticed right away the furniture, which I'm obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but I'm telling you now, I am more interested in the furniture than the actual fitness stuff because I don't really care about fitness. Oh, that sounds horrible. Yes, I'm lazy. I don't, I don't care. I don't care about the treadmills and the weight lifting things and the rock climbing wall. Just not something I care about, but the furniture in this pack, oh my lord, it is to die for, it's to die for, okay, wow, I just sounded like an old southern lady right there, um, <laughs> oh my lord, oh my lanta, all right, full house reference, anyone, DJ, no, okay, um, <laughs> Wow, this voiceover is all over the place. Anyways, the furniture is amazing. It, if you haven't seen it yet, it is sleek, um, modern, modern nature is what they call it. And dang, does that wrap it up. It is very sort of avant-garde, really cool glass and woods and Oh, I love it. It's just the prettiest stuff. From the second I saw that trailer, I fell in love with the furniture and the windows and the doors. And immediately in my head, I thought this would look great in like a woodsy nature type build and maybe some sort of like a log cabin retreat. Yeah, like that's what that's what was running through my head. So I really wanted to make it a reality. And like I said, I'm so proud of this. I love the way it came out. I love the way it came out. Like not to toot my own horn, but I think I did a really good job. <laughs> so I wanted to share the speed build of the shell with you. I can't believe it took me almost five minutes to say that, but that's <sighs> I'm good thing. Good thing I can talk a lot or this channel would be boring, let me tell you. Good thing because I post so many freaking videos. I can't imagine if I had nothing to talk about or if like oh my gosh. Can you imagine if I was just like mm, uh, mm, e, uh, and then a bush. I mean, okay, fine. I do do that a lot. Do do. Ha ha. Oh boy, the, never mind. Um what am I trying to say? <laughs> 
trying to say. But anyways, yes, the shell is cool. I like it. I'm proud of it. I hope you guys like it too. The water underneath is so fun. I think this look would look great in Granite Falls. Like totally would look awesome there. Um, but it turns out to be more spa-like than fitness center-like, which is kind of what I was going for anyways. And spoiler alert, because you'll have to watch, you know, the other video to see what happens with this. Um, I didn't account for the rock climbing walls. They did not fit anywhere in this build. So I ended up putting them outdoors instead, but that's okay. I mean, fitness can, should be outdoors too, right? I won with nature, zen, all that stuff. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, I, I, I'm talking like I know. I don't know. I don't think I've exercised a day in my life. Actually, funny story. Let's talk about this because we got five more minutes here. Um, <laughs> Okay, so what oh, my okay, it's no it's no uh secret if you guys watch any of my videos that you know that I love Deligracy. She is my inspiration. She is the reason I started a channel. She is the person I look up to, you know, all hail Queen Deligracy, Queen of the Sims. But anyways, she um she posted a video about like her daily routine, routine, wow, I can talk, her daily routine, and it included waking up early and, you know, exercising before she starts recording her videos because as a professional gamer, you need to be able to make sure to take care of your body too because you're sitting all day in front of a computer and, you know, you got to be healthy, which I'm not, <laughs> not let me stress that I sit in a chair like basically 80 hours a week which is horrible I know I should be promoting a healthy lifestyle but I am not healthy so let's let's just tell my story so um I was so inspired by her I said you know what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that I need to start exercising every day I can do that I can go for a little walk or something so uh to motivate myself to do that I went out and bought some sneakers because she showed her sneaker collection and she had a really cool pair of like this light pinky peachy Rebox that oh my god I fell in love with I was like I have to have those so I went looking for them and of course I couldn't find them I went to the mall and I don't know anything about sneakers because I wear sandals all the time I can't even tell you the last time I wore sneakers if ever in my life maybe in gym class when I was like a kid um, so I had no idea what I was doing to begin with but I had my eyes set on these Reeboks so I go to every single shoe store in the mall every single one like at least ten of them and for whatever reason like nobody sells Reeboks anymore I don't know why. I found a couple of pairs, but none of them were anything that looked like them that even fit me nicely. So I was like, whatever, whatever. I'm just going to keep looking. And finally, the last store in the mall that sells shoes that I finally come to um, had some Skechers that were really cute. And I probably saw Skechers in some of the other stores and didn't pay attention to them. But they had really fun, like pink and blue colors. And I tried them on and they were so super comfy. So I bought them. I spent a lot of money on them. Normally, I never spend more than like, I don't know, a dollar on shoes. Maybe not a dollar, but you know what I mean. I don't spend a lot of money on shoes. So I was like, I'm going to invest in a nice pair of shoes and this is going to motivate me to exercise. So I bought them and I started walking and it lasted a couple of days. And then I happened to meet this lady, which, um, oh, do I have enough time to tell the story? Right, I'm going to tell it fast. I am a firm believer that you meet people at the right time in your life. Like you always meet people at the right time. They come into your life for a reason. So I met this lady and she happened to be a fitness instructor and she was thinking of moving to the area. And I told her how I was thinking of wanting to start exercising. And she said she would come give me a free lesson, which I was shocked. And she did. She came to my apartment. She showed me a bunch of things. We came up with like a little routine and I stuck with it for like a week or so. And then I never exercised again. Like, oh, I'm a horrible human being, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm lazy. Who can relate? Like comment below if you can relate or if you're just like, Steph, you're a slob. Like go, go, go for a walk. Get out of the store. Go for a walk. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it in this video, but I own a clothing store. So like literally when I'm not playing The Sims, I'm working at the clothing store. And most of that consists of me sitting at a computer unless I'm ringing up a customer. So yeah, I, I live a very unhealthy lifestyle, but uh, I don't have time. Like that's what it boiled down to. You know, I get home at eight o'clock. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I want to go for a walk. And then it rains a lot in Florida and it's dark and there's bugs and sweat. And I had rainbow hair at the time and I didn't want to shower. Well, I shower every day, but I didn't want to wash, put shampoo in my hair every day because it fades it really quickly. So I was like, this is a chore. This is a nightmare. I don't know how people exercise. Like if you do, hats off to you. You are superhuman. Um, yeah, like I, I want to. 
I want to be one of those people, but I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. Why? Wow. This turned into like a really unmotivating video. <laughs> Let's try to turn it around, guys. Let's turn it around. Don't be like me. Go exercise. At least do something to get off your computer chair and not game all day. Maybe, maybe this will serve as inspiration for me to like finally do it. Like we have a little fitness center at my apartment, so I have no excuse. Like that. Oh, it's raining. You know, it's hot. Whatever. No excuse. I could literally go indoors and walk on the treadmill but I don't I don't all right <laughs> don't be like me kids <laughs> take care of yourselves <laughs> I'm gonna die young aren't I okay uh, that got really morbid um maybe I don't know comment below tell me tell me to go exercise maybe that'll help maybe that'll help <laughs> oh what is this what is this anyways this build came out so great uh I think what I was trying to say is it came out like more spa like than gym like because I don't know anything about gyms um but I, I wish it was bigger because I would love to have put an actual spa and a massage parlor and a sauna in here um so maybe maybe one day I'll build another fitness center slash spa and make it really cool and yeah we'll see we'll see because this pack came with cool stuff that I will definitely use again and not even a fitness build just in in general the furniture is cool go watch the other video anyways um there's just going to be one single screenshot at the end I know super boring but yeah if you guys had fun and I didn't scare you off with my weird stories uh make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time have a wonderful wonderful day bye Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.